Hello again and welcome to another video. This is our end of June 2021 BMW X3 2 litre diesel M Sport. This is the X Drive four wheel drive, automatic with the sports transmission and paddles. Now, this is a one owner vehicle. It's covered 37,333 miles with full BMW service history. There's some really nice packages on the car. Now the whole car has been detailed and machine polished to a really high level. The paintwork has come up really nicely. We've also um, changed, this car has the 21 inch individual BMW alloys on the car. And um, we've had them all fully refurbished, uh, powder coated and diamond cut and we've gone for black gloss opposed to the Orbit Grey that they usually come in. Now I just wanna bring you around the front or bring you around the car initially so you get the overall picture of the car. And we have technology package on the vehicle which gives you the heads up display, the professional nav, the digital cockpit with the map display on. We've got wireless LAN, and wireless charging, gesture control, connective drive services. And uh, there's quite a few other features, including electric tow bar, which folds away at the touch of a button and comes out the same way. Now, if we come in close, we've got these lovely black gloss grills. So it's got the shadow line pack on the car as well. We've got park assist, self parking, now I just want to come in close. You can see that the bumper is all in really nice condition. Headlights. I'll just bring you around the front. There's no damage to the grills or anything. LED fog lights down there as well. We've got the BMW LED lights. And if we come up onto the bonnet, there were a few very, very, and there weren't many, just a couple of tiny little stone chips that um, we've touched in. A couple we're gonna just redo again. In fact, you can see they're catching the light because we've put some lacquer on there. It looks like a white dot, but it's actually the lacquer. And um, as it dries, it sort of sinks. So we've got to pop a little bit more on there and then we'll flat and polish them. But as I move around, I can assure you they are very small. It's just that the bright lighting on the top reflects off of the dome sort of shape of the lacquer and they just need to be flattened and polished and then it will reflect in the same way as the rest of the paintwork but we need that to harden before we can finish that and we want to get the video done but uh, very nice condition now again if we look down the side of the vehicle you can see that the panels have no ripples there's not been any damage to the vehicle at all in the past. No ding dents. I've had a, I always have a very good look around the cars before I video them. So I can point out any little bits. It's, uh, the idea of the video is to be completely transparent. So you can see the vehicle as if you were here in the showroom again. Looking down the side, I'm just going to move the camera up and down so you can see the reflection. And then what we'll do now, we'll just come to the first hour. Now, all the tyres, incidentally, they're all matching Bridgestone lenses. This is the tyre that uh, they come with from new. The tyres have obviously been replaced because they're all on a, between, I think, around about six and some ones, maybe seven mil. Now we've got the M Sport brakes with those lovely powder coated blue calipers. And these are the 21 inch wheels. And like I say, they're an individual wheel and we've had them finished in black gloss. Let me just come around so you can see they've been finished in black gloss and they're usually a gray color, but I much prefer black gloss with the black cars. And the diamond cutting's really been done well. So no, no smart repairs, they're like brand new wheels now. Just gonna come back out, show you the vehicle from this side. Oops, let's just change the light. 
and then we'll bring you in and show you. As I say, they've all been done, all four. I just want to show you that. All the badges in the centre in really nice condition. All around the filler cap. Obviously got sun protection glass at the back, rear camera, LED lights at the back. And all of the trim down here, you can see there's no damage on there at all. And there's no scratches on the edge. Just bring you over and then show you here and then we'll show you the wheels on the other side. And if you look at the tailgate, nice clear reflection, no ding dents, no chips, no scratches. We come up onto the roof. There's no bird dropping stains or marks on the paintwork up there. All of the black gloss trim, we've got the black gloss roof bars to match the black gloss on the side. And you can see it's all been machine polished. It's like a mirror. To show you these alloys. I feel like I've already done this, but I'm, I'm sure I haven't. <laughs> I'll just do them again, just in case. So there you go, both of the wheels. Both wing mirror caps I've checked out as well. I'll show you the front of the roof as well. Hopefully that's in focus. Yep. And we've also got um, lighting. Let's see if I can lock the car. You can see the mirrors fold in as well if I lock the car. There's a setting for that that you can change if you don't want them to fold in every time. And you can just see the LED lights. Let's get that in focus. Under the door handles. And if we open up door card. I think we've got uh, puddle lights down at the bottom here and what you can't see um, there's a little light that shines just from behind the front wheel down onto the ground. I'll photograph it and the, it's almost like angel wings the lights shining out down the side the whole length of the, the car basically and then we've got I think they oh, sorry I think it's called Romba the aluminium and engraved finish. And you'll notice you've got lighting. So the top, the, boss, uh, the next one down, and there's more lighting down in the bottom which you can't see because the showroom's a bit too bright. And that lighting can be changed. There's an array of different colors. There's no dig marks in the door. Let me just put the key. I'm always holding too much when I'm doing these videos. Door sill, the bottom, and all the way round. All in really nice condition. And then we've got the M Sport seat belts. Now this car has the M Sport Pro package. Now what that gives you, it gives you the M Sport differential and the adaptive suspension. Now that uh, means you can adjust the quality of the ride from sort of a soft comfort ride to um, a stiffer ride when you put it into sport. So there's a valve on the shock absorbers which allows more or less fluid into them to give you that different ride. I just wanna show you the leather seats all the contrasting stitching and those headrests move forward to support your head and the little button on the side will allow you to push them back again. So while we're here, we'll be able to show you this side of the driver's seat as well. Center armrest, some nice blast, uh, black gloss trim down around the center where the gear stick is. And then we've got the professional media, um, all part of the technology package. We'll show you more of that when we come around the other side. It's 
I'm going to show you in the back. So passenger rear door, no scratches on there or marks, lighting, and then the door shut area again. This is an area where sometimes seat belts occasionally get jammed and it puts a little scratch or dent. But all in really nice condition. Got all the original mats in the car. Back of the front seats. And then additionally, we have um, a separate climate control for the rear. And that uh, comes on with the when the car started and then down at the bottom, we've got two USB-C ports as well. Got all the floor lighting in there. We, that's just where my elbow's just been leaning on that seat there, that little indentation that'll come out gradually. And then we've got the Isofix. Center headrest folds down to give you better visibility out the back. We've got center armrest with, I think they've got cup holders in as well so all nice in there and then if we open up the boot I'm going to use the key okay so up goes the tailgate I've got a button on the tailgate as well lighting under there all in nice condition under there and then next I'm gonna show you along the top edge of the bumper. So you can see that there's no damage on there. All of the carpets are really nice in the back. Obviously the seats fold down as well. We've got um, a 12 volt socket on the side there. And then you just push the little piece here and you've got Hooks for your carrier bags. Underneath, let's just try and lift this up. We've got the locking wheel nut and uh, first aid kit in there. And I believe the pull out blind will actually sit in there. I'm just gonna pull that out. I'm trying to hold this paperwork. I just wanna show you that this is also not damaged or anything. In fact, there's a little, there is a little line there, but nothing, nothing nasty. And then all up along the top, back of the headrest, there's no tears in them or anything like that. I think that was just like a little rub mark or something. So all the seats there. Okay, so we'll put that down. In fact, we're going to put it up again because I forgot to show you the tow bar. So we can just press the handle on there. Now it's in this side, that's why I forgot, because it's hidden. So in here, get that in focus, press for the tow bar, and then out from underneath the vehicle is your tow bar with the electrics. So when you need it, just press the button and when you want to put it away out of sight, again, just press the button that folds away. And as you can see, probably takes about 20 seconds or so to fold out. The electrics are on the side there. So we'll put that away. Another press of the button. And hey, press so it just folds back away. Now using the key, if you press and hold the boot key, you can close the boot down like so. And the tow bar's nearly away now. I check out the driver door card on this side. Again, no damage on there. Nothing down the outside. And then if we come in, let's try and get better focus. Here we go. 
door shuts all the way around. If we ha uh, take a look in the back from this side as well, I'm gonna have to move a bit slower. When everything's black, it's the camera wants to brighten everything, which is a bit annoying sometimes, but I'm doing my best to try and keep it in focus for you so you can get a really good idea of the vehicle. So we'll shut that one. I've checked all of the door edges and they're all fine. There's no scratches or chips, nothing around the driver door handle either, which is the main door. And we'll turn these lights to auto for a second. Driver door card. Again, checking out the edge there. And then we've got the Harman Kardon sound system, which is part of the M, uh, M, uh, <laughs> M Sport Pro package or Plus package. So there's there's more than six, I think there's about 16 speakers. There's ones, uh, one up on the top of the dash there. There's further speakers underneath the seats and in the back. Um, it's a much better sound quality than the uh, vehicles without it. Now we've got the folding mirrors that you can do manually on here, or of the door handle on there. And then the driver's seat, we've got the lumbar, uh, sorry, not lumbar, bolster button at the front. So the little rocker switch there will inflate either side of the seat to hug you. You can pull the center Sorry, the front um, section of the seat forward with a handle in the centre, just at the front there. There's plenty of adjustment on all the BMW seats, so if you're quite tall or if you're shorter, you shouldn't have a problem in the BMW range. We've got auto lights, a bit of extended storage at the front there. All of the steering wheel lever, again, really nice condition. Try and get this back in focus. And then we've got buttons on the steering wheel to control your phone and the, and the uh, heads up display to scroll through the menus. We've got cruise control, speed limiter. We come down, I'll go through this in a bit more detail. We've got auto hold on the handbrake. We've got hill descent there and you'll notice the word adaptive there and you'll notice that some of the cars don't have that because they don't have the uh, ability to change the ride it needs to have that button okay so that's um let's jump in well i can put the paperwork down at last okay so we're going to start the vehicle up so foot on the brake start up the vehicle Next service isn't due for 11,000 miles or May 2024. And you can see the map in the center of the screen there. Now if we come up, you can see this is the heads up. Right now, just behind the headlight, I'm just gonna flick, can I? Okay, so radio. You can just see me flicking through. I hope you can. Let me just turn the volume down in case uh, YouTube doesn't like it. And you can see me flicking through. Now on this display, you can do radio channels, um, your media, it will show you the speed, um, the navigation, etc. So quite a lot of information on there. Let me just come out a bit. These buttons here, this will change the mode and then you can scroll through on here. And this is where you've got your cruise control, speed limiter, etc. Just check it, yep. So if we, for example, use the BC button down there, the window slightly uh, on the right here, 
you can change there so you can let's try there's quite a lot of effect. your miles per gallon um trip gauge power newton meters and kilowatts you can change that uh, the units on there your, your sound system etc uh, there's obviously voice control now the one thing i've left on the screen here so i don't forget is the gesture control so by spinning your finger like this you can see the volume get that in focus you can see it just by doing that there's a little camera sensor up here and there are different gestures you can use um, to change some of the functions all on here now if we go into menu with these later systems this is all touchscreen you'll notice the dots down here you can set up new windows and you can choose what you have in those windows I'm just trying to remember how we did that um, automatic time zone let's come back out I'm going to use the buttons down here so if we go up to media now this will have the um, I'm sure this has got the Apple CarPlay it will be in the advert and in the pictures I'll put some pictures on there I'm pretty sure these later ones have the Android Auto as well but it's hard for me to tell sat in the car at the moment and uh you can see you've got Spotify there. So you've got some connective drive services set up on there as well. All your communication, your telephone, messages. And if we come down to the navigation. Now on the uh, right hand side, you've got another lift, uh, list of options. So that's your traffic information. Sorry, it's half for me to see over the phone change the theme of the map you can put weather on there as well for example and then oh how do i go back okay uh, let's go back in there you can get it to show you where the petrol stations are uh, set up for map your zooms etc all your different options 3d buildings satellite images and then if we go to settings We've got parking, refuel, such as there's lots of uh, features in these as always. And you can also split the screen if you wish. So you can choose on the right. If I press down on this one, I think it is. Uh, is it up the top? Adjustment main menu. Yeah, you, ah, this is where you can add the pages. So you can add a page and then choose out of this list what you want to put on there. I'm just going to come out of there and see if I can remember how to come out of the split screen. So if we come over to this side, press down, it should be, what was it up there? Adjust main menu. Uh, no. Oh, Scott. Ah, because it is, it's there. There we go. Let's come out of there. Perfect. Now, the other, if we come down to car. Oh, by the way, in the navigation, obviously, um, address input, you can write on the top of the iDrive wheel down here to put the destination in by using your finger. So, P. P. O. Z. Oh, we don't want to say it. That was meant to be a free. Z. J. <laughs> Is my handwriting really that bad? Z. Z. Oh, God, Scott. Should have tried harder at school. Z. But I don't usually have this problem. Okay, well, you get the idea. I'm going to give up because it doesn't like my handwriting today, so we'll leave that alone. The other thing you can do is you can save, if we come down here, that's the shortcut, that's for the different views. Now, using the buttons down here, the number buttons, we can use those to not just save radio stations, but we can save 
oops we can save the different views so I'll put that one on number seven so you've got perspective view on number seven number six at so the press of a button will change you can also um, use those buttons to store telephone numbers so you don't have to go in to the phone book and find them you can just press the number and it will dial the number that you've selected if we come down to car you've got your driver profiles that remembers everything uh, if we go up to vehicle status you can see the tire pressure monitoring there and on these later ones I've also noticed they give you the recommended pressures at the top see that 2.2 for the front 2.4 for the back and they're pretty much spot on and then you've got your oil level which you can check you've got to wait till the engine's warmed up and then you can check that from inside the car you don't have to go under the bonnet um, that's for um, controls and faults service so um, your service history is all in here that's the pre-delivery pre check oil and filter that first one will be yeah oil and micro filter this will be a brake fluid and more so oil filter brake fluid air cleaner yeah so all that has just been done at 32,000 miles and if we come back out you can see there that the oil change is not due till January 2025 or 11,000 miles brake fluid from now on will be every two years vehicle check now you'll notice there's not one there for um, brake pads so what they've done on the later vehicles is the brake pads will only show up in here once they get to uh, quite a low level and then it will say for example three and a half thousand miles uh, I think there was always confusion um, with that setting so BMW have changed it so that's the reason you can't see them in there so they're all okay and we've just done another vehicle and one of them was showing in there and they got replaced so that's how that all works now add blue now add blue this is the fluid that um, basically splits the um, NOx which is um, the gas that's bad for you it splits into night it's nitrous oxide and it splits it into nitrogen and oxygen which is safe to breathe and that's the advantage of our blue uh, clever way of um, making the atmosphere cleaner for diesel vehicles and you can see the levels at 50 percent um, don't ever top this up when it's half full wait till it gets down to about 15 20 percent because when you add it you want to make sure that the fluid that you've got in there is um, is not you're not mixing the old with new you want to keep it as fresh as possible so like I say, you've got all the different um, windows on there now. Now, this button down here, Active Guard, this is where you'll find um, some of the safety aids on the car. Configure all. The first one being pedestrian alert. So if someone goes to walk out in front of you, you'll be alerted or it may even break on this particular model uh, collision warning early medium late so you can set just how far behind the car in front before it warns you and then if we come down a bit further we've got uh, heated seats you can synchronize so if we just so they're on synchronize uh, if you turn synchronize on now though they're set to the same this one will then adjust both and then down under here we've got the wireless charging so you're able now to put uh, for example uh, an iPhone plus down there and charge it whereas on the older systems when they were under the glove uh, center armrest here you couldn't ever fit the plus models in in the holder got another USB B, C. Keep having to remember all these different numbers and things. Now, what I will show you now, let's close this back up. Ah, oh, one last thing up here. If we go to car uh, settings, this is where you'll find general settings for everything on the car, gesture control, just blur, 
gesture control, touchpad, pop-ups, trailer mode. So you can put trailer mode on. Um, I think what that will do, um, it might adjust some of the characteristics of the, the way the gears change in that. Um, but also, it'll probably turn off the rear parking sensors so that they don't keep going off. Got all features in there. Driving modes, we'll come back to that in a second. Exterior lighting, your driver assistance. Now, in here, one of the new features in here is this active PDC emergency intervention. Now, when you turn this on, when you're reversing, if someone was to walk behind you, we've got it turned off at the moment because we're moving cars around the showroom, it will automatically break so that you don't run maybe a small child over or someone's dog or something like that that you can't see. So a really good safety feature. And then the park assist is for the automatic parking of the vehicle. Safety and warning, well, we've already gone through that one, so we've covered that. Displays, um, different display modes, control display. Uh, turn off, let's go up here. Cover to speed. Now here, what you can do now is you can bring the information on the heads up. Leave the heads up on for speed and, and navigation, but bring some of the bits down onto this window. Now, this is what we were seeing on the heads up. So let me try and get, there we go. So now we've brought that down inside the car so it's not on the heads up display. I think the reason for that is in the summer when you've got um, polarized glasses on, you can't really see the heads up display. So that's a really good um, feature that they've added to the system. Come out of there. Oh, sorry, let's just go one more up the top. This is where you can adjust the heads up display, the features, that you can see on the heads up display. And as you can see, you can adjust the height, the rotation, so you can sort of rotate it. So if it feels a little bit sort of ski with, you can adjust it and centerize it for yourself. And you can change the brightness on it as well, just there. Okay, I think we've covered all of that. I'm gonna bring you back down here now to the adaptive. So we've got Eco Pro Comfort Sport and then adaptive. Now, as I was saying before, these shock absorbers are basically adjustable on this car. Now, when we go into, we can configure, we've got standard and individual. So you can select the settings within the Eco Pro. You can set the speed limiter to warn you or to suggest what economy you'll get. At a given speed so the efficiency has just gone up to 95% we can have eco pro settings for seat heating so if I turn it off it gives more heat less same for climate control light and sight for the headlights and then down here we can adjust the damping on the shock absorbers comfort or sport whoops went one too many buttons there adjust the weight of the steering now, if we go to comfort mode, this is a fixed standard setting, a balance setting. We then go to sport. We've got standard and individual. And again, in individual, there are a few more options in here. So damping, we've got on sport. Steering, we've got on sport. Engine, we've got on sport. And transmission, sport and comfort. So we can adjust the transmission from here as well. I've pretty much covered that now. So I'll move this paperwork out of the way. Let's get that back in focus. All of the books are in there. There's also within the iDrive system, there is, in fact, if we go in there, owner's handbook, and there are even little videos to show you how some of the features work. Preventative occupant safety and thus actively provide so you can use that picture search. So you've got lots of reference points in there. I think we've covered most of what's on there. 
So I'm going to show you under the bonnet now. Two pulls. In fact, let's turn the engine off because you won't hear me over the engine otherwise. We can now lift the bonnet up. And if I just lift this up a bit higher, all of the engine bays are cleaned by hand. We don't just um, throw a jet wash under these uh, vehicle, or well, around the vehicle engines because there's too many electrics. So we use a lot of like WD-40 or similar products to clean all around the engine bray, nice and safe. Now they use a, what they, they call it a twin power turbo. Essentially what that is, is a twin scroll turbo. So the turbo has two inlets coming off of the engine into the turbo. And that allows the turbo to spin up earlier, faster, quicker, less lag. So you get a nice fluent power delivery. It's more efficient, gives you more power as well. So all nice and clean under there. Let's close that down. And we'll take another look from back here. I'll try and get so bright in here today. So there we have our X3 2 litre diesel X drive with the uprated 21 inch individual wheels, technology pack, comfort pack, the electric tow bar, some really nice features. So this car, all the wheels are like new. It's got a really good set of tires, all matching with lots of tread, which saves a lot of money. Tires are not cheap nowadays. So all ready to go and uh, look forward to your calls. If you want any um, finance options or um, quotes, please get in touch. We have also some great extended warranties that can be started at the end of the manufacturer warranty that is remaining on the car. So there we have it. Thank you for watching. Take care. Speak to you soon. Bye.